Hello and welcome to what is our final installment of the RC10 Classic build. Um, what we've got here is a fully blinged up J Concepts uh, equipped uh, RC10 Classic, uh, kindly provided to us by J Concepts and uh, X Factory UK. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Darren, and everybody at J Concepts for providing all the the goodies that I'm about to show you on this on this kit here. So. Um, obviously, the first thing we've got is the awesome detonator body shell, as you can see, all uh, detailed up there. And it's really cool looking. It's it's quite a different shape than the um, than the standard body that comes with the RC10 Classic, which I'll just show you in profile here. Just you can see, it's a, it's a little bit more kicked up, like a 70s um, style uh, buggy. And it's got a little bit more window detail. Um, it's got definitely has a bigger wing, more racy wing. So that's the um, the wing that comes with with the kit. Uh, so it's obviously quite a bit bigger, a bit deeper, and obviously tunable. You got all the uh, the various cutoffs there, whereas this is you know molded in the in the original style, which is cool, um, but not so great on the racetrack. But it looks great. Um, obviously just on the outside here you can see on the wing, I'm going to start taking the body off and everything, you can see the pretty sweet looking blue J Concepts uh, wing buttons, quite neat. And here you can also get a close up, nice close up look at the, the various cut marks for the wing. I left it high so just can always cut it down later. And so you can get a closer look at. I left it also left the the wing clear, so it looks like uh, you know looks like it just old like a, the old style dune buggies where they didn't have any uh, um, massive wings on the on the on the buggies. Obviously, we've got the the wheels and tires looking really cool. This is the original one, kind of like a creamy sort of white, um, slightly taller profile. You can see that the. Uh, a little bit taller and a little bit narrower. You see there, I'm just holding it level on the bottom. A uh, little bit, uh, one more rib on the front. It's also a lot softer, these um, these rips um, front wheels. These are in the J Concepts green compound, as you can see. And in the back, we've got the double Ds, which are, you can see here, quite a, a much smaller profile. Obviously, the uh, those spikes on the on the kit tires are pretty tall. One cool thing about the wheels is that um, let me just take off the rear one here. Obviously, the fronts are held in with uh, there's two bearings uh, that fit in. I uh, just used the same bearings that I used from the kit build. Took them off the front wheels and put them straight onto the J Concepts um, Hazards front wheels. Uh, one cool thing about these wheels is that. Instead of just one uh, one sort of cross pinhole there, you got two. Uh, if you can see that very well, there you go. So yeah, you get the idea. And it goes on really well. Um, so it just makes it a little bit easier to install. Um, it's quite nice, I like that. Nice little touch. Obviously you can, um, I think, associate it off for uh, 2.2 uh, wheel conversions. Um, the rears are a little bit expensive uh, because they come with the bearings. The fronts, uh, you already have the bearings, so they don't uh, provide the bearings, so it's it's quite cheap on the front. But then it, you have a uh, blue aluminum on there. But yeah, anyway, it's, uh, it's just several options for these. Now, taking off the body. Um, uh, one thing I should mention on the wing buttons is that the uh, the package doesn't include um, the set screws, so you're going to have to provide those yourself. Um, pretty easy to find. Obviously, you can just take them straight off of the off the uh, the original the kit wing buttons. But if uh, if you want to keep those handy, I always like to. Um, did have to hunt around a little bit for for the extra wing buttons. So on the starting with the front end, we have got the uh, let's see, we've got the shock tower, the graphite shock tower, which is really cool looking. It's nice and uh, you can see there it's got a nice little cut to it. 
We've got the the aluminum bell crank steering, which is really, really cool. It's nice and sturdy. Uh, there's absolutely no slop. Um, the original pieces I've got here, you can see, it's uh, quite quite an upgrade, really. Uh, one thing to point out on this is that um, the package does not include a ball, um, a pivot ball to go right here on this bit here. And you can see that the original, uh, I'm just trying to remember which way this went. I think it went this way. Um, obviously, this is quite an upgrade from the Z Bend rod, which is, you know, works okay, but you know, you, you don't want to be racing with this for very long. Um, so I did put in an old uh, threaded rod. Um, couldn't find a turnbuckle long enough in my in my parts box, um, but these are associated um, uh, ball cups, and I found some ball ends that fitted the servo saver and into the uh, into the aluminum bit there. Make sure to use um, uh, thread lock on that. I used uh, blue thread lock, very easy to find. Um, don't want to use red, it'll be a little bit too firm. Um, J Concepts do provide, uh, these are the original screws that come in, uh, that fit the, the steering bell cranks. Um, they do provide shorter, bell cr uh, shorter screws, and then these black uh, bits screw on over those, and these are held in. There's four ball bearings in that steering system, so it's quite, quite good, nice and smooth. Um, and then what else we have? We have the diamond uh, style nose braces and we have matching uh, diamond style wing tubes here in the back. So it's a nice segue to the to the rear end of the of the car. Obviously the very nice um, uh, rear shock tower. You get three extra holes. Um, the original hole in the from the kit is the outer hole of the of the option, so you can see that there. Um, and so you get three extra holes so you can lay down the shocks a bit more. On the front, I forgot to mention, um, you get one extra shock mounting hole, um, which is, it uh, gives you a bit more droop, because um, it's mounted just underneath. It actually connects with the hole the original uh, shot, uh, location hole. The camber links, um, camber mounts are in the same position. So you have three of those, and two, sh uh, one extra shock mount hole in the front, and three extra in the back. And then we've also got very oh, and obviously this is really nicely cut out. It just looks really cool. I love this. I love this look on the on the modern um, uh, graphite shock towers. It looks really cool. And the same sort of treatment is done on the transmission brace, which really helps to stiffen this up. I mean, compared to this thing in the in the back there, that's the original piece. You see, you can just bend that very easily. But uh, with this, you're not going to be bending that very easily at all. So what I did was um, because the back end of the of the body is a little bit higher than the stock body, I took the the thick. Uh, aluminum washers that are there. They were underneath the bell cranks and I simply moved them underneath the the rear body mount. So that's convenient. Reuse some parts. And then the final piece was the really slick looking blue uh, honeycomb heat sink motor mount which looks just really cool. Um, it's slightly odd that some of the some of the holes are covered up by the transmission, but I don't think you're going to get these motors too hot now any day, anyway, these days. Um, uh, everything's so versatile. So, anyway, looks really cool. Um, did have a little bit of a struggle putting this, uh, the, the back screws on, but I guess if you do those first, I, I put them through the transmission first, so um, I suppose if you do those first, it'll just be a lot easier. So overall, um, it looks really, really cool. I mean, those those wheels are just a massive upgrade. You know, I mean, obviously there's a, there's always going to be people who are fans of the original, um, and I do like these, you know, the kidney bean style wheels. But I think these look really cool. You got like little scale lug nuts. You got sort of like beadlock looking uh, 
indentations in there. And then once you get a little bit of dirt and you start cleaning this up, and you see how this uh, um, starts to get, uh, not dinged up, but you know, just a little bit of character to it, you start getting some dirt that collects up in there and you can really tell where there's a uh, little fake uh, lug nuts are. And you got three on the front as well. Oh, sorry, four, four lug nuts on the front. So, yeah, can't wait to get this on the track and it looks excellent. I love the way this thing looks. It looks so amazing. Let's see, you get this body back on there. The body is a lot easier to get on as well. I think, anyway. And I paint this in um, with Badger RC Air Colors uh, using a Badger airbrush. Um, RC Air Colors are brand new. Um, and just painted them in, uh, painted the body in a nice uh, metallic blue, which is just straight out of the bottle. And it just looks amazing. Love the way this looks. So, can't wait to get this out on the track. And uh, I hope you enjoy this little mini review of the RG10 Classic Options from J Concepts. Thank you very much again, uh, J Concepts and X Factory UK. Thank you.